this is going to be the best beef stew recipe ever because it's flavorful it's so delicious and it's loaded with vegetables when it comes to vegetables i love adding in some green peas which i absolutely love also because i'm a potato lover i love adding in some potatoes which thicken up the sauce for some color and some flavor also i'm going to be adding in some carrots and a few basic spices you're going to start off by chopping your meat and i have three quarter kg of beef over here born in so I'm going to use a very sharp knife and chop up my meat into bite-sized pieces. I love cooking with beef because it's budget friendly and it's also very flavorful. The beef is a little, has a little bit of fat which is going to give us even more flavor in our beef stew. So I'm going to slice my beef against the grain. Once done chopping up your beef, it's time to boil the meat until tender and I'm going to be using a pressure cooker to do that. So over high flame, I'm going to transfer my meat in my pressure cooker. Add in one cup of water. Also for some flavor, I'm going to be adding in one beef stock cube. Then next, you're going to pick your lid, cover your pressure cooker, secure, and boil for three whistles. If you're using a sufuria or a pot, you're going to boil your meat until tender. As the beef is boiling, you're going to be prepping up your fresh ingredients. So for this recipe, you'll need some onions, garlic and ginger, tomatoes, potatoes, carrots, and coriander. I'm going to wait for the beef to get tender so that we can cook up some delicious beef stew. I forgot to mention that you boil the meat together with the green maize and so far this is how the beef is looking and as you can see the beef is falling off the bone that means that it's super tender so the next step is to make our beef stew so I'm going to place my pressure cooker aside and over medium high flame i'm going to place a pot adding some cooking oil and once the oil is hot you're going to add in your onions and cook until tender Once the onions are soft, I'm going to add in my crushed garlic and ginger, which are going to add lots of flavor to the beef stew. Stir in and cook for around 30 seconds until the garlic and ginger is fragrant. Once you notice that the garlic is getting a very lovely golden brown color, you're going to add in your potatoes, carrots, in I've started off by cooking my potatoes and carrots because they take a while to cook so I'm going to let the potatoes cook for around three minutes and because I've already parboiled my green beans it's going to be very quick once the potatoes and carrots are cooked halfway As the potatoes are cooking I'm going to be adding in a few spices which are very mild I have some black pepper which is going to add a very mild spiciness to our beef stew also I have paprika garlic powder and cumin I absolutely love adding in cumin to everything because it makes food very flavorful and delicious also I'm going to be adding in two seasoning cubes if you don't have the seasoning cubes you can simply add in some salt and it's still going to work magic but because I want more flavor, I'm going to be adding in some beef seasoning cubes. Add in around half a cup of water so that the potatoes can cook. 
the cooking time for the potatoes is going to depend on the size that you have chopped up your potatoes because mine are a little bit big i'm going to be cooking for around three minutes if you have chopped up your potatoes a little bit smaller you're going to cook for around 0.2 minutes before adding in the next ingredient so to my pot i'm going to be adding in two diced tomatoes and tomato paste the tomato paste is going to add in some color and also some tomato flavor stir in the tomatoes and tomato paste into the pot cover and let the tomatoes soften up After around a minute, I'm going to check on my pot, and this is how everything is looking like. So I'm going to transfer in my meat together with the beef broth stir in. Add in one cup water so that the potatoes can be fully submerged in the water for them to cook through. Add in my peas, stir in. Cover and let everything come to a boil. Next, you're going to check the seasoning. If it's not perfect, you're going to be adding in more salt. And because I've added in tomatoes and tomato paste, I'm going to be adding in a quarter teaspoon of sugar so that I can reduce the acidity of the salt. After around four minutes, I'm going to check on my pot. And you can see the stew is thickening up because the potatoes are also cooking. When you notice that the edges of the potatoes are crumbling apart, the potatoes are ready. You can also cut in between your potatoes just like that. So the next thing is to garnish my beef stew. So I'm going to add in some coriander. Put out the flames. Stir in. Yum. Once you're done garnishing the beef stew, it's going to be looking very delicious. And I love serving mine over some rice or chapati. So this is a very easy recipe, which is also very healthy because we have added in lots of vegetables. Making the beef stew perfect for lunch or dinner. So I hope you'll be trying out this recipe and enjoy each and every single bite. Catch you on my next episode. Bye.